Let's say you are the owner of the sound recording and you own the master recording copyright. Terrific. You're selling physical product. You're selling digital downloads. You're selling streams. Is there anything else you can do with that sound recording? Well, absolutely. You can license it. The same way that you can license your song, if you're the owner of the musical work, to a movie or a TV commercial or a TV show or a video game, you can license the sound recording. That license is called a master use license. Master use because we are licensing the master sound recording that you as the owner of the copyright in the sound recording own. The ownership of that sound recording may also belong to a record company, but if you don't have a record company, you are acting as your own record company and you own the rights in that master recording, which means you can give people permission to use it. Let me give you an example. I am a production company and I make movies. I hear your song through a digital streaming service and I think, hmm, that song would make a great song for my movie. Maybe I can use it in one of the scenes or as background music. So I will reach out to two different people. Why? Because in order for me to use the song I heard on the digital streaming service, I have to get the permission from the owner of the copyright in the musical work, the songwriter or the publisher, and I have to get permission from the owner of the sound recording, which would be the artist or the record company. So the master use license is the license I get from the owner of the sound recording. That's why licensing can be somewhat difficult because anytime I am combining my music in particular with images, I have to get permission from both copyright owners. That master use license can be quite lucrative. How do you determine how much to charge me for the use of your sound recording? Well, it will depend upon the use, not your use, but my use. As the production company, what am I using your sound recording for? How much am I gonna use? What am I using it for? Where am I going to use it? All those things are sort of calculated to help determine how much I should pay you for the use of your master sound recording. As a production company or the entity who's using the sound recording, I am the one who has to pay you that fee. The fee, like I said, can be large or it can be small or it could be nothing at all. That's right, there's something called a gratis license. A gratis license or a free license means that I am giving you permission to use my sound recording in your project for free. Usually your product, let's say if it's a movie, you're only gonna be showing it at schools or at film festivals, and you're not really making any money yet, so you don't necessarily have a budget to pay me, or I don't have a budget to pay you. However, once you get a distribution deal, then the budget comes into play. Now there's the opportunity for me to pay you for the use of your song. In that gratis license, you would include something called an option, which says, okay, you can use my sound recording for free so long as you're only going to festivals. However, once you get a distribution deal, now you have to pay me however much amount that we have determined based on the use. So it is possible to give your music away and get paid for it at a later date. I am the one as the production company, whoever the licensee is, the person getting the license from you, I am the one who will pay it to you directly. And there is no third party entity to collect. So master use licenses are generally handled business to business with you as the owner of the sound recording and me as the production entity. It's wonderful when you are the owner of your own sound recording because you get to generate and keep all of the revenue. But what if you're not the owner of your sound recording? Under what circumstances would you not be the owner? 
The circumstance is called a record deal where you have signed away your rights to the sound recording in exchange for a record company's services. If that's the case, it's the record company who now owns the copyright in the sound recording via a concept known as work made for hire. Work made for hire basically means that you are creating the sound recording for the benefit of the record company and they therefore own it. If they own the sound recording, they are the ones who will exploit it and distribute it, whether physical, download, or streaming. And they are the ones who will issue licenses to movies, TV shows, commercials, video games, etc., for the use of the sound recording in those types of projects. Initially, you may not make as much money with a record company as you would if you were the owner of your sound recording. Because remember, the record company is much bigger than you are and can do a lot more for you than you can possibly do for yourself. So although you may only be getting a percentage of the revenue from the exploitation of the sound recording, that percentage can actually end up being more than you would have gotten had you owned the sound recording yourself. It really depends. It depends on you and what you do as an independent versus what your record company does as a label. So either way, you have the opportunity to make money so long as you are somehow connected to that copyright.